hello hello and welcome to my channel i'm kat the nurse flipper i am a full-time reseller on ebay if you are new to my channel welcome thank you so much for coming by i did a teapot video recently with teapots from 300 up to thousands of dollars and quite a few of you requested I do ones lower. So this video is going to be ones that are valued from $150 up to $300. So if you're a reseller, they might be a little bit easier for you to find while outsourcing. So let's go ahead and take a look. I will warn you that a lot of these brands that you are going to see are the same as those that were seen in the high dollar teapot video. So remember these brands and all of these research videos because they will have varying degrees of worth depending on the pattern and what they look like. So the first one is super, super cute, a fun one to start with. This one is a Polish pottery six cup teacup, six cup teapot, bunny pattern, sold for $159.99. And all of these are sold on eBay, just in case you don't know. Here is the bottom of this one. So very, very clearly marked. If you do not know, most Polish pottery pieces sell for a pretty decent amount. Even their plates can bring high, high dollar. So keep an eye out for Polish pottery. Next is a brand I think most of us know. I haven't found any teapots by them and I found very, very few pieces by them in general because typically, well, I shouldn't say I haven't found them. I have found them, but they are priced way higher than what I wanna pay when I'm looking to buy something for resale. So this is a La Crusade Soleil Sun yellow tea kettle. I will tell you with these, I did see some at lower prices. So I think that the color had a lot to do with how much this sold for, as well as the fact that it was new in the box. So this one sold for $169.99. And you can see here on the bottom, it is marked La Crusade, and you can see it still has the scan code and it was never used. Next is some fun pottery, mid-century modern pottery. We saw quite a few of these from Hall in the high dollar. This one is actually from Red Wing. So this is a vintage mid-century modern Red Wing rum reel ceramic teapot yellow Saturn. So you can see the ring around that teapot, atomic gypsy from 1940 and here on the bottom of the teapot, you can clearly see it is marked Red Wing USA as well as with the number 258. And then we have a Blue Ridge Pottery. I will tell you, this one is not marked and I have found quite a few Blue Ridge Pottery plates that were not marked as well. So some of these are not going to be marked. You would need to use Google Lens to identify who made it as well as the pattern. This is a Blue Ridge Pottery ball teapot the pattern is bluebell you can see it was an auction it had 19 bids it sold for 181.61 and here is the bottom showing you that it is not marked all right this next one is very very plain and it might change what you turn over to see who made it when you're outsourcing this one is a vera wang gras green teapot now the funny thing is so it did sell for 198.75 this one is vera wang by wedgwood it, as you can see here on the bottom so i feel like the seller definitely didn't use enough keywords and that title they did get almost two hundred dollars but i think it might have sold for more and possibly faster than it did if they had put wedgwood in the title this is the next one i think is super super cool definitely something to look out for i feel like there are probably other pieces that are made just like this that will be worth as much money this is a end of the day granite wear enamel where you can see all the different colors swirled and mixed together 
totally totally cool this was an auction it had seven bids and sold for $190 and I do not believe these are marked with any particular maker all right another teapot that is not a teapot just like we saw in the last teapot video I do come across things that are not actual teapots when I'm doing these research videos this one is actually a toy this is a vintage 1981 bluebird big yellow teapot box with characters this one sold for $123.67 you can see it has all the little figurines look at how the little door opens up and the people can go inside the teapot and I did see quite a few of them selling at this price point next is a Franklin mint teapot now when I think of Franklin mint some of the stuff was overproduced and then other pieces can be worth quite a bit of money this is a franklin mint scarlet o'hara porcelain teapot gone with the wind i had to zoom in close here to see i'm like is this a figurine or a teapot and you can see it is Mark Scarlet O'Hara Porcelain Teapot from 1998, the Franklin Mint. Here's the top showing there is a hole in it, is it is an actual teapot. So that was a great sale at $195. Next is another company that I come across quite often and I think you should definitely keep an eye out for these. All of their pieces can do pretty decent and that includes their plates oyster plates serving dishes definitely keep an eye out for this name this is a johnson brothers blue chippendale teapot beautiful beautiful cobalt blue this one sold for 199 dollars you can see on the bottom it is marked english chippendale johnson brothers so you would easily be able to identify it this next brand when i went to runninger's antique fair there is one vendor there that this is all they do and they have thousands and thousands of pieces they are definitely valuable some are bread and butter some are worth more so if you see them i would recommend finding the exact piece because i would hate for you to overpay because they are something that i typically see marked up when i do see them this is a vintage fiesta wear 1950s gray teapot this one sold for 200 dollars, and you can see here on the bottom it is marked fiesta wear so you would be able to identify it a fitz and floyd that is not your typical fitz and floyd look for fitz and floyd look up the piece it could be worth good money this is a rare fitz and floyd places of worship teapot 1998 westminster abbey sold for 188 dollars and you can see on the bottom very very clearly marked fitz and floyd collector series this was a limited edition of 7500 and this one sold for a great price all right, this next one I'm going to show you. I'm also gonna give you a little photography lesson because this drives me crazy. This is a Fiesta Ware vintage radioactive red teapot collector's item. So as you can see in the photo, this seller did not center the item. The top of the teacup was cut off. So this is why I recommend you use square photos and you can see it's really dark. This almost looks like a maroon color, but if you have the right item pictures aren't going to be as important so this one sold for 195 dollars you can clearly see on the bottom it is marked fiesta made in the usa but definitely i recommend square photos and having good light so people can see the color of your items all right next is actually a coffee pot but the seller was smart they put teapot in their title i will tell you i do the same thing because somebody looking for a limoges teapot might happen across this item and buy it this is a limoges tnv chocolate pot that was an auction with only one bid it sold for 200 dollars. you can clearly see here on the bottom it is marked limoges so it would be easy to identify next is a very very cute teapot it is a brand i've never heard of but 
sometimes I don't know that the brand is what sells the item. Sometimes the item sells itself. So this is a vintage Blue Willow Elephant Teapot LCA. This was an auction. It got 29 bids and sold for $213.50. You can see here on the bottom, it was clearly marked. So you would be able to look it up, but definitely a very, very cute teapot. We have some Wedgwood Queenswear coming in at this mid-price level. This is a Wedgwood Cream on Lavender Queenswear. This was an auction. This one had 15 bids and sold for $210.50. You can see here on the bottom, it was marked. So you would be able to identify it. It does say embossed queenware. So pretty much all of the information in that seller's title is listed on the bottom of that teapot. And this was an absolutely great sale. Next is a pattern I've told you to look out for. And I will tell you again, this is Franciscan Atomic oasis so this is very very similar to the atomic starburst pattern and this one sold for 205 dollars you can see here on the bottom even though it is quite faded this is marked franciscan and easy to identify all right this next one caught me by surprise and it's really funny because i was sitting in the living room doing research for this my husband was in there and i'm like guess what teapot I just found? And he's like, do I look like I know any teapots? And I'm like, no, you know this, you know this. And he's like, no. So it caught him off guard as well. This is a Pokemon Cafe Center Poltergeist teapot Yabacha set. This is a very, very small set and it sold for $229.60. And I saw quite a few at this price point selling this high. So watch out for Pokemon teapots. Up next is one I think sold for the shape because as far as I can see, and this might be a haul unmarked if you know a lot about haul brand and this is a haul definitely let me know in the comments this is a vintage hand painted aladdin floral gold handle so i do want to say make sure you keep an eye out for these aladdin shaped lamps here's the bottom of this one showing that it is not marked i thought a haul was marked but maybe someone can correct me if i am wrong another super super cute teapot this one is so cute this is a vintage made in england the tea pottery cast iron bath teapot with gold highlights this one was not marked but super super cute and a 225 dollars sale with a little rubber ducky you can see the bath soap the towel the sponge this one is just very very cute up next is another mid-century modern which definitely as i said from what I've been seeing is definitely selling very, very well. And it has been for the last couple of years. This is a Judith Weber mid-century modern sleek design porcelain red and black teapot along with two teacups. They were signed. Here is the bottom showing the Weber signature. So keep your eye out for ones that look like this. And then we have Mackenzie Child. Again, watch for the checkerboard with Mackenzie Child. Definitely a characteristic that is used in her work. This is a Mackenzie Child hand painted Oddfellows Majolica Taylor Check teapot. And this one sold for $200. Here is the bottom. This one actually doesn't have it stamped in, which is what we have seen with quite a few of her teapots. This one has the sticker, meaning if the sticker was off this one and someone had used it, you would need to know either using Google Lens or by sight that this was a McKinsey Child's teapot. I am so happy that this next maker came out in this video because they are one of them, my absolute favorite designers. I have found multiple collections in online auctions. I have not found any in years, but two years ago I found an antique mall that was closing and I was able to get hundreds of his pieces. They are pretty much all sold out. I also have found his teapots at the Goodwill. 
So this is a Russell Wright Great American Modern Steubenville teapot. Sold for $225. You can see here on the back, all of Russell Wright's typically are marked. I did get a few pieces in the big sets that I had that were not marked, but he is a very, very well known and his style is pretty easy to recognize. And then we have Roseville Pottery, which is another name I am familiar with, but I've never found a teapot by them. I have found a lot of planters. So watch out for Roseville Pottery. Again, some patterns are more rare than others. This is a Roseville Pottery Green Bushberry Teapot Creamer and Sugar Bowl set, and it sold for $205. I've said this before quite a few times, but if it were me, I would have sold the teapot by itself, and then I would have sold the sugar and creamer just to make my shipping a little bit easier. This next one really brings forward the point that I keep saying in these videos. So I actually sold this exact brand, this exact pattern, but it was a vase and it only sold for $15. So make sure that you find something really, really close, especially if you are paying up. So this is a Wedgwood Wild Strawberry, which is exactly what my vase was. Large four cup teapot. This sold for $194.95. It is marked on the bottom Wedgwood Wild Strawberry, so you would be able to identify it. This next one is a name I'm not familiar with, but I want you to pay attention to this one because this teapot that sold for good money was damaged, and I am going to show you. So this is Cameo Wear by Harker. This is a yellow dainty flower. This was an auction, had 28 bids and sold for $247.50. So look here, it is marked. You would be able to identify it. And it has a pretty significant crack as you can see and it's still brought almost $250. Next is a brand that I've showed you several times and this one looks different. So in these videos, I try and find things to show you that are brands that I am seeing quite a bit, different looks as well as the fact that some of these makers make stuff that you would not typically think is theirs. This is a Rosenthal Germany Dorothy Hafner New Wave Teapot, excellent use condition studio line, really really cute little teapot and this one sold for $249. It does show on the bottom that it is clearly marked so you would be able to identify it. Now we are going up in value. We are going to go all the way up to $300. This next one is a Paul Cardew which was seen in the high dollar. This is a really cute Walt Disney Showcase collection Winnie the Pooh teapot this one sold for $249. Super, super cute teapot. I love Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore and Piglet. I just listed a bunch of Winnie the Pooh ornaments that I got. So here's the bottom of this. You definitely would be able to identify it and look it up by what was on the bottom. Up next is something we saw a lot in the high dollar. This is a cute Lefton puppy dog teapot. This one is Anthropomorphic Blue Puppy Dog Teapot, sold for $249.99. You can see on the bottom, just as with some that were in the high dollar, it is only marked Japan. Next is an artist I am familiar with because I actually found one of his tins at the thrift store, but I won one of his paintings in an auction yesterday. I did pay $500 but I believe it will sell for over 3000 and I absolutely love his work. The painting that I got does come with the certificate of authenticity. It is big, it is three feet, and I actually saw it in Clearwater when I was picking up my last big auction hauls, and I was like, I love that. And they told me it was on auction yesterday, so I bid and I won, and it does have a history of selling for over $3,000 on Worth Point, and I am really excited about it. 
here. I will pop a picture up so I can share it with you. It is only one of 12 that were created. So super, super limited edition. And I'm really glad to see his teapot in this video. And I will tell you, I did see quite a few by him in those higher dollars. So this is Romero Brito. This is a large ceramic, a New Day heart square teapot. I have also found a small cat figurine of his in an online auction which was worth about fifty dollars so his look is very very specific to him when i see stuff like this i know that it is brito so remember how this looks remember the painting and keep your eye out for anything with these because they sell well this teapot sold for 249 dollars and 99 cents Next, we have some Wedgwood, pink Wedgwood. This is a Wedgwood England pink Jasperware, which is your typical, what I think of as typical Wedgwood. This is a relief miniature teapot and it sold for $255. Here on the bottom, you do see the typical stamped Wedgwood made in England. I run across Wedgwood at the thrift store quite a bit. Most of the smaller pieces are not worth much. They take a long time to sell, but watch out for those bigger serving pieces, especially in pink. This next artist actually reminds me of Romero Brito. If I would have seen this, I would have thought it was a Romero Brito piece, but it is not. This is a McGovney Camerot whimsical colorful large teapot absolutely love it again it looks a lot like romero brito work you can see here it is signed so you would be able to identify it and this one sold for 231 dollars i sold the teacup that matches this teapot i think i got about 50 to 60 dollars for it this is a shelly bone china art deco woodland which is what my teacup was this teapot sold for $250. Shelly is definitely a name to know, keep an eye out for because some of it can sell for high dollar. I'm going to show you another flaw as far as listing because I definitely want to help you be able to create better listings. So if you see the screenshot here, this rare Warner Brothers Looney Tunes Pepe Le Pew, it was an auction. It did get 20 bids. It did sell for $255, but look at their front picture. It is of the top of the tail. Now, here's another one of their pictures and you can actually see what the teapot looks like this would have been a much much better option for their first picture they might have got more money for this teapot and here is the bottom showing that it is marked next is a royal crown derby i do not believe we have seen any of these yet so far in these videos this is a royal crown derby old absbury 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 teapot this was an auction had eight beds sold for $261.52. You can see on the bottom here, it is clearly marked so you would be able to identify it. All right, this next piece screams Mackenzie Childs. If I've not taught you that yet, this is a traditional Mackenzie Childs piece. This is a Mackenzie Childs courtly check enamel small teapot. This one sold for a best offer. And the asking price was $269.99. Again, here is the uh, bottom. So it definitely is marked and you would be able to easily identify it. This I am not familiar with, but this is a beautiful, beautiful hand painted teapot. This is Anna, Wetter Anna Weatherly teapot kettle with butterflies, flowers, and dragonfly. I believe these are actually pansies and you can see on the bottom she does hand sign the bottom and this was a beautiful beautiful teapot here comes royal albert and this is again with cartoons or children's storybooks this is a royal albert beatrix potter adult size jemima and foxy and jeremy fisher teapot this one sold for 275 dollars you can see on the bottom this one was clearly marked so it would be very easy to identify 
And then we have another Inesco. We saw some Inesco in the top selling teapots and there's one in this mid-range section as well. This is an Inesco Music Box teapot bungalow. It was an auction. It sold for $280 with six bids. You can see in this other picture they did have the box so very likely that helped increase the value of this teapot. Another music box teapot so not an actual teapot but i definitely wanted to show you this one this is a vintage mary poppins it's a jolly holiday 24 bids sold for 280 dollars here is the bottom clearly marked i absolutely love this teapot so keep an eye out for those musical teapots as well as i've seen quite a few of them in the higher dollar sales it's a trend right now just for these few items this is another teapot that is not a teapot this is a teapot sculpture or figurine this is disney store japan alice in wonderland figurine it was an auction it had 28 bids sold for 285 dollars here it is up close you can see super cute there's a little drawer in the teapot that somebody could put their little trinkets in and here is the bottom showing it is clearly marked we are getting up there in value this next one is very very cute and again really cute really bright really loud different shapes that is stuff that i would keep an eye out for this is a vintage port marion botanic garden delivery truck really cute this is paul cardu which is a name that we know well this one sold for 295 dollars super cute with all the little teapots on the side of it but this truck is an actual teapot and an absolutely great sale and yet another item by a maker that i would not have thought was by them this one is a homes by hall sherlock holmes 100th anniversary teapot it sold for 299 dollars here is the tag showing sherlock holmes teapot shows the hall china collection they did not show a picture of the bottom so i'm unsure of that mark the next one is a fronds but it is in conjunction with kathy ireland which i have never seen this is a beautiful kathy ireland southern splendor swan design there were quite a few of these in the sold so i think these are definitely out there this one sold for 2.99 plus shipping here is up close actually a beautiful beautiful teapot as most of fronds are i think all of them i have seen are and here is the bottom showing it is signed you would be able to easily identify it next is a brand that i was not familiar with but it is a theme that we actually just saw in the ornament video this is a vintage star wars the empire strikes back the brand is sigma this one sold for 300 dollars with three bids here it is up close showing the hang tag and on the bottom here you can see imprinted it does say sigma so as you can see there are quite a few of these in that 300 dollar range so there are high dollar teapots that are out there i promise you they are out there for you to find this is a lynn chase jungle jubilee teapot this is something that i always check when i see them because i know some can sell high this is a single serving rare this one sold for 2.99.95 and again another photo showing why i say to use square photo format when you are taking your pictures for your listing so here you can see the actual cute monkey and then again you can see on the bottom that this one was clearly marked and then we have another fronds this one was an auction sold for 249 dollars this is a fronds american rainforest porcelain parrot teapot two bids sold for 249 dollars here it is up close absolutely beautiful beautiful teapot and here is the bottom showing fronds and then we have a heron that is a beautiful classic teapot this is a heron blue garland large teapot this one sold for 299 dollars 
and here it is up close beautiful beautiful very very simple design but very very pretty teapot and they did not show the bottom so i cannot show you the mark this next one is in australian dollars but 400 australian dollars is 300 us dollars so this is a vintage saddler courting couples three-piece teapot sugar bowl and this one sold again australian 400 us 300 here is the bottom showing that it is mark sadler and here it is up close i absolutely love courting couple stuff i have said this before but definitely look at that courting couple stuff and up last we have a paragon this is a beautiful beautiful classic paragon floral design sold for 300 dollars and simple classic pink roses but beautiful here it is up close and here is the bottom of it showing that you would easily be able to identify it so that is the end for the teapots up to $300 I really hope you enjoyed this video we will be doing some more fun research videos coming up I'm not going to tell you what you're going to have to wait and see so I hope you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button share with your friends if you think they would like it and I will see you on the next one bye for now guys